that welcome back everyone on Fox as your host and we are back with Final Fantasy 16. You're waiting for indeed. Well we are I don't know. Yes, go on touch him. Doesn't mind. Um yeah, so we are deciding to make our next move on another mother crystal. But we also have some side quests uh, waiting for us, so we're doing those first. It won't be long now, Martel. See, I, I am uh, was hoping to speak to you. All right. Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well. Oh no, she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Or why not? Being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor of her memory. Wait. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. Hey, you're not imagining. That room's as ragged as. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel. Where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. Aye, <laughs> and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Welcome. Others weren't so lucky, though. Mm. Ah, my favorite pupil. What is it that you wish to learn? Of course.
Thus ends today's lesson. Hope I can take her down. Any. What's the matter now? The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Alastia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. What to have found someone? They marked all the can't even Oh Clive The patron's whistles that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donation? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has a toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalog every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? What? Is everything we've received and everything promised? yours here you are ah uh, that's okay 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 i gotta have that one you do how are you doing anything catch your eye seen enough doesn't sound like anywhere is safe a gift from the backyard for your service Please take me back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. <laughs> Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? Because they are. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh! And uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Bedo. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's room. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? 
for someone decided to send Benedict us head to the night. until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full grown tree. Martell lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the better. Way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Can't go out or here. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. He does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Oh, I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. What? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolda. We visit as many as we can, and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Alpha. <laughs> Okay. 
doesn't look. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists. Jill, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her. That she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> Twould be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. What business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard? Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. Oh? The Empire wants answers, and what the Empire wants, Empire gets. Don't they just? Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. We're going on in for help. Seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields just now. You seen him, didn't you? Yes. I didn't think it was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the are sending nowhere, and they thought we might be harboring firebrands. <laughs> I helped it. If only we were. I might have turned him in, become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village. And we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Viceween's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Maybe. Perhaps.
This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. Yeah. Ever since the Apollo tree, we've seen more and more of these echoes. What do you think is waking them? The Mother Crystal's collapse? I have an idea. You're not going to like it. What? I guess. No, people. More of my mother's men. Oh no, some black sheets have died. Oh, that's so sad. Ah, oh, tragedy. Fast. Is it garrison over there? Oh, or was it? Oh shit. Blood, Clive. Out of it. And still wet. You were told to stay in your homes. Fuck you. What do you say? What do you say? You know who we are. And still. You would bear your steel. Nothing to. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a 
The resistors. Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> They await you in Ordil, guardians of the flame. Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. Bab. Here we all know it's a trap. Find something, boy. Probably. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. We should go. Yes. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. We're approaching Bewick Bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Makes a move. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home.
so fun when there's this that play part. Run like the wind. Lazarus, what happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. Also, that's the main gate, and it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. What if? Voice dogs, they are. You can't ignore us forever. Listen, uh, or we'll die on your doorstep. Better out there than in here. No, get enough back to the And you jealous bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, we were in filth. Back to your stall. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? Probably not. As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. Ambush. Crown can lose its luster. Not abandoned then. Oi! Visitors! Bandit. Apologies. We'll show ourselves out. Target for experiment.
Sorry. I've only ever seen one man fight like that. And he's long dead. Then perhaps it's time you joined him. No oh, wait. The blessing of the Phoenix. It can't be. I was there when you died. Huh? Hey, it is him. Forgive me, my lord. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It is. So wait. <laughs> he lives. We can speak inside. Yeah, sorry about killing your man, by the way, so... Oops. Oh no, they are still alive. Okay. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame soon after. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Aye, the foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. Mistress? You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. We help. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you, for the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. And we at yours. So Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our wits. 
Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. In the flesh. What is it you require? Of course, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Of course, my lord. <laughs> I'm full. I'm sure that it will prove useful. May it serve the cause well. I will be here should you need aught else. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke the main host at their encampment. Sensing an opportunity to end the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements who will be met from the rear by parties of my brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough, now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Hill have been laid to rest. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Oh. The mother. Off me. Okay. Blessing of the Phoenix go with you. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bastards responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. All right. Come along now. The bastards are looking. There they are. On your command, my lord. Be safe. Up, suckers. What is it now? I told you. Oh, the gate is open. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Die along with your flame! For Azaria! For Azaria! Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Bloody hell. 
hell. Reinforcements from the far bank. Another one of them to fight their battles for them. For reinforcement. Oh, noble stand, albeit a misguided one. In taking it, you have but proven our point that this land is in dire need of cleansing. And I will cleanse them all. Or just a reskin. Is a thunder. Ba 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 ba. So close to a level up. Eight. Okay. I don't see any more. <sighs> Nor do I. The plan worked. It did. It bloody worked. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord, perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day when the Rosarian Standard flies over Rosalith once more. So I die. 
Think we should fall back to Port Azolda before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Hopefully. Level up. Yeah. I hope so. Boy, so. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your? Oh, of course, he has. Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians, and had I known of this tunnel back then. I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the vice regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Ooh. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. That would have been. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need, I know. Go on now, my lord. Okay, that way. How accommodating. What? Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess my uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. He means to string us up himself. Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. <laughs> Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. You would mock me as well. It is I, Sir Crandall of Camelot, loyal servant to Her Serene Holiness, Saint Sybil the Unshard. Oh, really? Beatrix? Vile sorcerer, for thy crimes against church and crown, I shall have thy head. Curse the infectious 
flax wench? E even in death, must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell, that thou might see thy charge once more. Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. Oh, oh, Clive, my dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> You always were fond of that scene from the saint of the sanctuary. You never did let me play Sir Crandall. I have a favor to ask, Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. <laughs> I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. <laughs> the good plates, yeah, okay. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Yes. Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster. For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. <laughs> is that true? It's not untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. The one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> right then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. <laughs> this will be fun. Uh, she's not quite into it. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. 
of what you are worried about. Yes. Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Thank you. Point, I think. Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, Will the monster cease to be? That's a but. Just promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Oh. Not following the trope or Oh no, you have uh, I have to leave you Everything A Sailing around to Hey, the hideaway knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian could probably make an educated guess. Probably. Okay, a quest, a quest, lots of quests. Our Simon Tate. All right, but for today we will save. Roughly a level for uh, our plate, as we are more or less on the type brink here. I hope you had some fun and that the recording is definitely better. Until the next time, which will be tomorrow. <coughs> uh, hopefully, a bit earlier than today. We will see about that. Um, this was Success in your host. I will follow you. And good night, good day, depending on when and where you're watching this. I'm aware.
my hands don't get cold. Um, yeah, I wish all of you a good evening, good night, good day, depending on when and where you're seeing this. Stay safe, safe and healthy, clear, and be well. Bye.